Big breaking news this evening comes from Chelsea. Carve Solical, what is it? Maurizio Pochettino is uh, leaving Chelsea by mutual agreement. Uh, we all know that he's had quite a difficult season at Stamford Bridge, his first season at Chelsea, but it appeared that things had changed, results had got much better. The fans felt there was a real connection back with him and also with the team. But what happened basically is the season ended. Yesterday, he had a meeting with the two sporting directors at Chelsea, uh, at Cobham. And they decided after the talks to sleep on it. They didn't want to make a quick decision yesterday and say, yes, we are parting ways. Maurizio is leaving the club. They said, look, let's take our time. Let's sleep on it. That's what they did. And then they woke up this morning, both sides still felt that going forward, they could not quite make it work. They both felt that things weren't working. They were on different paths. And that is why they have decided that Mauricio Pochettino is going to leave the club. And it's a bit less of a shock than it might have been in view of the massively improved results, finishing six guaranteed European football because of the way that Pochettino responded to questions on Sunday evening. It left a lot of doubt, didn't it? Well, there was doubt. Uh, Pochettino came out and said that he'd actually had dinner with Todd Burley, one of the Chelsea owners. That was a long dinner. He felt that that had gone quite well. But I think behind the scenes, there have been issues. Chelsea is such a big club. There is always so much going on politically behind the scenes as well. And I think Chelsea just feel that they are a Champions League club. Historically, they are a club who belong in the Champions League. And it's not just Maurizio Pochettino's fault that they haven't ended up in the Champions League uh, this season. But for a variety of reasons, they didn't meet the target. And the target was to finish in the top four. I think Maurizio Pochettino will always be welcome back at Chelsea. Uh, there are no hard feelings. Uh, you know, the owners get on with him. They know that he's a fantastic coach. He's a fantastic manager. The players like him. Even though he used to be the Spurs manager, the Chelsea fans like him now as well. And I think the majority of Chelsea fans would have been happy if he'd stayed because they could see what was happening behind the scenes and also on the pitch. It's a job that takes time. But you know that Chelsea managers, historically under Roman Abramovich, don't get a lot of time. And it looks like history is repeating itself under the new owners as well, because it wasn't working. And rather than drag it out, they just thought, both sides, let's make the change now. But some Chelsea fans are going to be thinking, goodness me, here we go again. When will we ever get any continuity? When will we ever give anybody time to build anything? Look what happened with Emma Hayes, who was given time and what a success she made of the women's side of things. Why don't we try when we saw results were improving a lot and the football was improving a lot? Why don't we give somebody some time? I think one of the issues was that Maurizio Pochettino, when he arrived last summer, he signed a two year contract. So he's only got a year left on his contract. And Chelsea are in the Club World Cup next summer. Now, the Club World Cup next summer is in June. His contract runs out in June. So going into next season, Chelsea really had to decide whether they wanted to give him a new contract because they couldn't go into next season knowing that at the end of the se season they'd be in the Club World Cup and they'd have a manager who would be leaving in the same month as the Club World Cup. So they had to make a decision, both sides. Do they give him a new contract or do they say, look, this is not working out. Let's both go in a different direction. And I think the feeling on both sides was that Chelsea weren't going to give Pochettino a new contract. I don't think he necessarily wanted a new contract either. And that's another reason why they have decided uh, to split today. Yeah, and you said it wasn't working, Carve, but they won the last five games and they're in Europe. Yes, they're Champions League club, but given where Chelsea have been in the last couple of years, it looked like he was starting to turn the fans around? I think he, he was. I think uh, definitely the first half of the season, Chelsea had sort of lost their identity. Uh, it didn't feel like Chelsea anymore. There was a whole new side, young players. Uh, everything had changed at the club and the owners were getting criticised a lot. And I think 
Mauricio Pochettino had a lot on his plate behind the scenes. This is a man who's worked at PSG. Everybody knows how political PSG is. So he's somebody who has experience of working in uh, you know, tricky circumstances and having to deal with a lot of different issues. Uh, he did turn it around. Chelsea ended the season very well. But I think both sides remembered the problems that there were behind the scenes before uh, the team really sort of started playing well again. And look, people at Chelsea have a lot of respect for Maurizio Pochettino. They have respect for the work that he's done. A lot of managers leave Chelsea under a cloud. There are disagreements, arguments behind the scenes. Uh, that is not the case here. I'm being told he is always welcome back at Chelsea. Obviously, he, he lives in London. I think probably if he's got some free time, maybe he'd rather go and watch Spurs first rather than <laughs> go to Chelsea. But, but the door is always open. And we don't get a lot of these situations in football where both sides say, look, let's hold our hands up. This, this is not working. Our vision for the future is not necessarily your vision for the future. Let's call it quits now. It gives us time uh, to find somebody else to replace you. And it also gives you time uh, to go and find a new club if that's what you want to do straight away. So all nice and amicable. I guess the question is immediately, who next? And, and what do they do next? Because it, it strikes me that if they had a striker, they would be in the Champions League, given the amount of chances they created, but they couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. If it wasn't for Cole Palmer, they would have really struggled in that department. But you put a top-class striker with that squad... It's a, it looks like a Champions League squad. So who's next on their shortlist? Because it's an exciting project. Well, we've seen lots of, you know, the managerial merry-go-round this summer. Uh, you know, Liverpool have got a new manager. Bayern Munich are looking for a new manager. Roberta De Zerbi's left. A lot of people are talking about Kieran McKenna at Ipswich. Uh, Thomas Tuchel potentially is going to be available, although I think it would be very difficult for him, if not impossible, to go back to Chelsea uh, we've also got Ruben Amarim, the, the manager at, uh, uh, at Sporting, who's been linked with so many uh, clubs. One thing I would just say on your point about the striker, uh, I know some people have been talking about the fact that Chelsea have spent so much money in the transfer market uh, and the head coach doesn't necessarily have much of a say in the players that come in. Uh, and I know there have been suggestions, there have been disagreements uh, between Maurizio Pochettino and the sporting directors and the owners at Chelsea about transfers. Uh, what I sense is that that is not necessarily the case. Maurizio Pochettino is somebody who's been around the block. He knows how these things work. He knows that he's not the guy who's going to be picking up the phone and deciding what players to sign. Uh, so I don't think the reason he's leaving is because he didn't have control uh, over transfers. You know, in the modern game, head coaches, managers are not the only people who decide which players to sign. And I think he's aware of that. He accepts that. But I just think that he just feels it wasn't working. Chelsea feel it wasn't working. Let's call it quits now. Uh, and I think as far as uh, Mauricio Pochettino's contract is concerned. I think he's got a year left on it. Uh, I don't know for sure, uh, but I'm being told that that will be settled. So whatever clauses there are in his contract about what would happen if he was uh, to leave in the summer, that will be honoured by Chelsea.